Hey up you beautiful buggers, how the devil are we all doing? It's the Nipple Grapefruit, and in this video we're building a secret underground camp below this pre-existing house here. Now then, despite the fact that this build is going to be underneath the map, in all honesty it's quite easy to pull off, and the best thing about it is, you can customise it to be whatever you want it to be. Anyhow, enough knobbing around, let's get into it. So first things first, you're going to need to know where this house is located, otherwise you're not going to be able to do the bloody build, are you? Well fortunately enough, Mon Petit Fours, I'm going to tell you where it is right now. It's located here, in the Cocaine Valley, right next to Becker Farm. Beautiful. Right then, to enter our underground base, we are going to need to have an access point above ground, and we're going to make it as immersive as we possibly can, you know, so somebody could walk past it and not actually see it. We're going to start by placing a foundation down against the wall of the house here. Now, that sounds quite simple enough, doesn't it? Unfortunately though, due to the unique way this game is designed, we're going to have to put it on a slight angle. And why is that, you may be asking? Well, for reasons unbeknownst to anybody else other than Todd Howard, we can't place down a porch here, unless we have this foundation at a slight angle pointing towards the house. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course it does. Now then, once you've got your foundation at the correct angle, and you can indeed put down a porch piece, we're just going to check we can put walls all around the foundation as well. Mm-hmm, yep, that seems to be working perfectly. Absolutely fantastic. As well as making sure the walls fit, we also need to make sure we can get a roof piece in there as well. Something like this here. If you too can achieve this amazing feat of in-game architecture, then congratulations, we can move on to the next step. And the next step is ripping down all them walls you've just put up and placing down a foundation here. And that's just going to act as a placeholder. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we have to start getting a little bit mergy. We're going to take this foundation we have here and we're going to drag it over to somewhere where we've got, you know, a little bit of space. Right here will do. Absolutely spot on. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to take another foundation and snap it to this one here. Absolutely spiffing work. Well done guys. Now, once you've got that sorted out, you're going to take this shower here. If you don't have this, the symptomatic will work, but I couldn't get it to function correctly when I was doing this video. Anyhow, plonk the shower down on top of the foundation like this here. And guys, just as a pre-warning, make sure it's wooden foundations you're using. Concrete ones are not going to bloody work. Once you've got your shower lined up to where you want it, you're going to grab the bottom of the foundation that it's sitting on top of, and you're just going to simply drag it down until it goes green and then release it yeah there you go fantastic what this does ladies and gentlemen as you can see here is merge the shower into the foundation how good is that eh? it's like buddy magic isn't it now don't go too far you do want a bit of the shower sticking out of the top you know so you can interact with it this is an example of too far however we can still interact with it and it'll work for the purposes of this video now, once we've got all that sorted, we're going to drag the foundation back over to where we've got the placeholder. Now, you want to snap it down with the entrance of the shower facing towards the left. I know I've got it facing towards the back here, but trust me, don't do that. Once you've got it snapped down, delete your placeholder and interact with the shower. If everything's worked, then hey presto, you're underneath the map. Welcome to a magical new world. A world full of nothingness and absolutely shag all else on top of that. Much like my brain at the moment. Once you finish your shower, just exit it and walk forward into the void. In this game, falling to your death actually brings you back to the surface, and that's exactly where we want to be. And guys, this little bit here is just me again showing you that the shower entrance needs to be facing towards the left. That is towards the left. Thank you. Once you're confident your fireplace... What? Your fireplace? You... <laughs> your shower is facing the right way, you can start putting walls down on your foundation. This time, these are going to be permanent, guys, and I'm going to be using whatever the bloody hell set this is. I've not played the game in a long while, so I can't remember. At the end of the day, though, as long as they look scrappy and immersive, then yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. We're just trying to match it into this house as best as we possibly can. After all, a hidden camp isn't going to be very bloody hidden if it's a bright yellow neon bloody thing strapped at the side of a pre-war house, is it? Oh, of course it's not. Anyhow, once you've got your walls and your roof piece in, you're going to slap down a set of stairs going into the pits of hell on this side here. Oh, and I almost forgot, make sure you put your porch piece in. Don't know why I forgot to mention that, but yeah, we're, we're just going to roll with it. Now that you've got all that done, this is what you should be left with, and we can make it look a little bit more scrappy once we've finished doing the rest of it. 
The next step is, guys, to do all the building underneath the map. And as you can see, I've remerged my little shower. And it actually looks like a toilet. So, yeah, this is going to be an outhouse. As well as the entrance to our camp. Think back to Harry Potter if you've read it. It's like the entrance to Ministry of Magic for the peasants. When you do get underneath the map, just enter into build mode and then go into the eye spasm camera mode. I'm not sure of the correct term for it, but it sends me head west. Whilst in this mode, we are going to snap another set of stairs to the ones that we put down before. And from that set of stairs, we're going to start building out normal size floor pieces. Jesus Christ, I forgot how temperamental this camera is. You know, it, it's hard to get bits in, but I suppose it is good for this kind of thing. No, it's a bloody nightmare. But we've started it now, so we're just going to persevere. Yeah. Now, this whole section underneath here can be as big as you want it to be. Although I would suggest building towards this side rather than towards the house. The simple reason is the terrain around the house is a lot lower than it is over here. So if you do build around the housey area, you're going to see bits of walls sticking out at top. And you don't want that, do you? Nah, of course you don't. Once you've decided what you want your layout to be, though, you need to put a bit of stairs in here, right below our entrance point near the shower like i say guys the rest of it you can do it whatever body shape you want and however you want to do it but that bit is important right then you're happy with your shapes you are absolutely fantastic exit your build mode and walk down your new steps into what is going to be your underground base isn't that lovely now this is going to be different for everybody because you may do you know like i say a different design to this but i'm just going to start slapping walls down one thing I would recommend is where we've got the stairs coming down from the foundation over here, just box it off. You're not going to want to see that. They are literally there to hold the floors in place. They have no other function, so yeah, you, you just don't want them visible. The only set that needs to be on show is the set underneath your shower, aka your entrance. Right then, for now, I'm happy with that. We just need to put a floor in underneath our shower. Now, FYI, choose the roof piece you want to stick with, because once you put it down, it's an absolute bastard to change so yeah just you know make sure it's the right style for you for this next section there's a couple of ways you can do it the first way i'm going to show you is quite simply this place down a full size wall with a slopey boy on top of it and do that on either side of the staircase once you've done that you can place a roof down on top and jobs are good un. however the issue is with that is on the surface you can see the roof piece if you do want to hide it i have got another way of doing it build up the same way as you did before a full size wall and a half wall i forgot to mention that before but leave the top arches off go back up to the surface and find yourself this dumpster yeah it's it's under stash boxes once you've found this bin, place it down on top of one of the little doormats and we're going to drag it to our little, you know, entrance way here and try and line it up with the wall as best as we possibly can. Now, you are going to see it floating on this corner, but don't worry, we can cover that up later. After six months of faffing around and you're finally happy with its placement, destroy it with a Bernie Boy 1200. Yeah, that's it. Get it burnt. And then make your way back underneath the map. All you're going to do here is put your slopey boys on and then put a slopey roof on too. Go back up to the surface world, repair the dumpster, and a hey, presto, you'll be left with something like this. Now, it doesn't cover the roof pieces perfectly, but it does hide them a little bit. I'm going to leave it like that. From here, guys, it's just a simple case of roofing off your entire build. You may also want to put this little wall in here. It's quite simple to do. Place down a full-size wall with a half wall on top of that, and then you should be able to remove the full-size wall from underneath it, if it all goes to plan. That's going to do us underground for now. We need to scruffy up our top section a little bit, so just use the magic teleportation device, more commonly known as plummet into your death, and then start, you know, just making this look a little bit more immersive. There's a number of ways you can do this, but for example, where the little bin things float in there, throw down some brambles, that'll hide that, job done. On your little porch section here, why not throw down some railings so people don't accidentally fall and break the necks? Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? What about this little window here? Well, that's quite a simple thing to remedy. Change the slopey boy piece to a flat piece and slap down one of these extraction fans up wall. Once you've got it covering the window and you're happy with its placement, change the flat piece back to a slopey boy, and look at that, window's gone. Everything I've done there is dead simple, and I don't think you would notice there was a camp here unless you were looking for it, but that's just me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. From here, we need to make our little entrance shitter look a little bit better. So we're going to start by burning the slopey boy with a flamethrower trap, just like that. Mm-hmm, yep, simply, simply lovely. And then underneath that, we can now put a flat roof piece. I know it isn't much but it does add to it trust me all you gotta do now is decorate your entrance way and i'm gonna show you what i came up with 
Oh, yes. Look at that, guys. How fantastic is that? Now, as you can see, I have remerged the shower again. And to be honest, it looks more like a toilet with a little footrest there. Beautiful. I've also put this sink in with a sign to remind you what a dirty bastard you are when you don't wash your hands. We've got a little lantern. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice indeed. And the Pierre's de Resistance is this Wendigo here to quite literally scare the shit out of you. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, we've got Bottle here, which looks like he's having a very satisfying satisfying dump and that's it guys i'm leaving it at that you can do what you want but yeah i'm happy with that in your underground base the world is your oyster what what could you put down here well the answer is anything that your buddy well wanted now i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do at this point but i'm going to put a few options up on the screen and let me know what you think i'm going to do down in the comments is it going to be something useful is it going to be something ridiculous or is it just going to be something well pointless Cast your votes now. Well, if you voted for the underground car garage option, i.e. the pointless one, then you are 110% correct. That's 10 TNG points to you. Now, for it to be a car garage, we need to have an entrance ramp, don't we? And to do this, I've deleted all the wall pieces over here and put down some floors. From here, I'm going to put down some slopey boys on each side like this and some half walls at the back of it. And on top of them, I'm going to throw down some roofs. Now then, we need to delete these slopey bars at the side here, and the way I'm going to do that is by changing the sloping roof pieces into flat pieces. That should allow us to delete the slopey bars. And what do you think we're going to put in the place? That's correct you at the back, we're going to put down some full size walls, and on top of our half walls at the back, we're going to put down this garage door here. Now then, on top of our garage door, we're going to put down another run of half walls. And on our side walls, we're going to put down yet again, more half walls. And on top of them, slopey boys. Coming down to the bottom of our ramp here, we're going to put down a full size wall. And on top of that, we're going to put down a top arch. We're also going to do the same on the other side as well. And once you get all that done, it's just a case of roofing it all in with sloping roof pieces and jobs are good and an entrance ramp. Obviously, we need to faff around with it a little bit, but let's just go up to the top of the map again and see if anything's sticking through the terrain. Nope, we look absolutely fine here. Fantastic. Let's carry on. Right then, so let's have a faff around down here. I think we'll change those roof pieces into the vanilla set because that's the only ones without any massive buddy mountains on them. And I reckon we'll change all the wallpaper to the breeze blocks. Aye, that feels pretty garagey. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep, simply, simply lovely. Aye, th this is looking pretty spicy now. So the four pieces, mm, I'm not too sure on them. I think we'll start off with these red mechanic ones, but no doubt they're going to change by the end of the build. I, I assure you of that much. I think the only thing left to do is to put down some freestanding stair posts. Now, these are blueprints, but I will leave a floaty card in the top corner so you can learn how to do it yourself. It's dead easy. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but these aren't snapping in place. Even when they're red, they should go in. So this is a bit of a mystery. Just, just give me a second. Right, all sorted, guys. I had some in there before when I were mocking it up. I just had to delete them. They were, you know, floating up there. But anyhow, this is how they should work. Look at that, you see. Straight in. And it makes that corner look a hell of a lot better. We'll just throw one over there. And yeah, that's it. All that's left to do now is to decorate the place. And I'll show you what I came up with. And here it is, guys. It's almost simple, you know. I've not done anything too technical whatsoever. I've just thrown down a little bit of junk, chucked a couple of cars in here, and yeah, I think it looks pretty half-decent, to be honest with you. Now, most of you out there will be able to do a better job at this than me. You know, I'm no master builder by any means, but yeah, I'm happy with that. In the corner over here, I've thrown down some tool benches, merged a couple of tool chests into that cabinet at the end there, and of course, I've merged a tinker's workbench into, well, the, the the workbench yeah honestly guys this is nothing complicated whatsoever if you don't know how to do merging and whatnot i've done videos and so have many other people on youtube it's really really simple to do but yeah that's pretty much what i've come up with like i say you'll no doubt be able to do better oh i almost forgot we need an exit as well yep we'll just open the garage door here and fall to our deaths to somehow survive this game is just <laughs> anyhow i hope you've liked this build i know it's my first one in a long time and i hope that you've learned something from it as well you know these tutorials will only be useful as long as people are actually gaining some knowledge from it 
As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. The extra support is much appreciated. If that's something that any of you are interested in, there's a link down in the description. you also find a link to all my merch, my Discord, and, you know, the rest of the socials as well. If you did like the video, guys, please hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing too. I've not really been doing too many tutorials recently, but I do have a weekly top five camp competition, which is, you know, it's quite fun. Anyhow, as we say in the north, I shall love you and leave you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, everybody. Much love.